guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I will be talking about and sharing all of my favorite base and top coats. There are a ton of different brands out there and I get this question so often like, hey Femke, what's your favorite base code? What's your favorite top code? What's your favorite matte top code? And yeah, just because I get ask that question or that kind of question so often i was like let's just dedicate a whole video on this topic and just share with you the ones that i'm really loving at the moment what they actually do for me on my natural nails and if i would recommend them and of course some additional information such as pricing longevity and finish so yeah there are a lot of brands that i will be sharing in this particular video some are really budget proof there are a couple that are more high and like really expensive such as the Dior base and top coat which I pretty much love by the way but I will be getting into that a little later in the video but first if you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube so yeah let's just stop the rambling hang out together and if you have any questions or comments or even recommendations for base and top coats or other nail polishes that you would like to see me try out definitely let me know in the comment section down below but yeah i love you guys so so much and i hope to see you in my next video as well so uh, let's go getting into all of my favorite bases and top coats i will be sharing some matte top coats as well oh and if you are curious to know what's on my nails i have actually done a tutorial video on my left hand nails with the butterfly decals and all that jazz i haven't done a video on my right hand but if you want more information on that definitely check out my instagram because i have shared a post on there telling you how i made it and what items i used but yeah let's get into the bases first because first things first apply a base code the first one is by pjr care and how could i even start this one out differently in dutch i'd say who can I cook on this? I have to start with this one because it is one of my favorites. It is kind of like mid-range when I compare it to the other base coats I'm sharing in this video. Like price-wise, it is vegan, it's cruelty-free, it's ten free and it dries like a beast. The second one is quite similar actually in quality I'd say. This one is the Abricot Dior base coat. It is hella expensive, like 25 towards 28 euros depending on where you get it. But it is a really, really good one. I really am a big fan of this one. It dries fast. It protects my nails really good from staining. The PJR Care um nail polish base coat does so as well by the way i totally forgot to mention that but yeah it is quite similar to this dior one and yeah i pretty much like it next up is another high-end expensive like splurge one this one is the i think it's the regular like smoothing base coat or something by chanel this one was also really expensive i do pretty much like it i don't like it as much as the dior one that i just showed you but it is quite cool to actually use it every now and then and i'm definitely going to use it up because i actually bought this one when i was going to try chanel nail polishes for the first time as well i felt like let's just make the best out of it and just get the base and top coat too but yeah it is pretty decent but not spectacular Next up is one by Trend It Up. This is the base and protect code. This one is really, really nice. It is quite inexpensive as well. I think it's like below two euros. I have bought this while I was in Germany visiting my longtime best friend. Hi, Iris. Love you so much, girl. Um, when I was there back, I think it was September 2020, I did a huge nail polish splurging when I was in Germany because I don't live that close to the border, but this base is quite nice it is quite similar to the next one i'm showing which is the repair and care base code by essence cosmetics this one is kind of like same when it comes to pricing quality and such compared to the trended up one this one is also completely vegan and of course essence is cruelty free as well 
which is something that I really, really like. The formula is nice. It does dry. I wouldn't say super fast, but it isn't like you don't have to wait 10 minutes or something like four to five minutes and you're good to go. Then next up is another one by Essence. This is one that I love to match or like sandwich with the previous one. And please ignore the fact that there's like gold leaf stuck to it. I have been doing some like random stuff with real gold leaf foil and it got stuck on everything and it was a big old mess. But this one is actually the active whitener or base coat. I have to say, I want to say nail polish. Of course, it's a nail polish, but it gives a little bit of like a bluish tinge. So if you have this coloration on your nail plate, that one is pretty nice if you're going for a regular natural look. The next one is also one by Essence. I've got a bunch of Essence and Catrice ones, but I really wanted to stick to just a couple ones. This one is from the Clean and Care line. It contains 95% natural ingredients. Of course, this one is vegan and cruelty free as well. Big, big plus for that, like big round of applause for all of the cosmetic brands out there that are not testing on animals. Like, first of all, that is a no-go. And second of all, they are vegan. Then another base coat that I really, really love is the Smoothing Base by Holotaco. I have just recently purchased a backup from this one because as you can see, it is running out quite fast at the moment. I think this is one of my favorites when I'm just smacking on a plain old manicure in between recording videos, or at least like manicures that I don't record and just wear on a daily basis. It is nice. It doesn't dry super fast, but it gives some decent protection from discoloration whenever I use darker or more pigmented polishes. But so far the base coats, I'm continuing with the top coats. You will see some similar brands because I just love to work with base and top coats from the same brand whenever I do manicure. So of course this PJR Care Mirror top coat had to be shared as well. This is such a nice brand. As I mentioned, they're vegan, cruelty free, tan free. This top coat, by the way, has such a gorgeous shine and it dries so fast. So you actually have to work pretty fast with it as well but oh i love it you've heard me rave and rave about it so long then next up is actually the top coat by dior which matches the apricot um, base this one once again quite similar to the pjr care nail polish top coat it is really nice but of course kind of expensive as well once again like 25 towards 28 euros hella expensive in my opinion for just a base or a top coat but it is really good it dries really fast as well and it prevents chipping and tip wear really good too i don't know what it is but i just really like the dior polishes like all of them i definitely have to get some more whenever my budget is like big enough to actually splurge on it but next up is actually a top coat by chanel I'd say this isn't a must-have. It does give a really beautiful shine, like glossy finish, and it dries really fast too, but I don't feel like it is a lot better than, for example, a Catrice High Shine top coat or something like that. It is quite nice, and once again, it's pretty nice to have it in your collection and just try it out for once, but if you don't have a huge budget, just skip on it. Next up is the ASAP Quick Dry Top Coat or the ASAP Quick Dry Top Coat, however you want to call it. It is quite nice. I've just recently discovered this one and yeah, it really does its job perfectly. It dries fast. It gives a beautiful like thick gel looking kind of top coat finish. Very glossy, very shiny. I also really love the brush that comes in this bottle. It is nice and white, it has a rounded edge, and I just really, really love it. Especially if I compare this one to the Chanel one, which has kind of like a smaller brush. This one is way better. But then I have another quick dry one. This one is by Catrice Cosmetics. It says it should be dry in 40 seconds. 
personally i feel like just let it sit for two minutes and you're good to go as well of course this one is also vegan and cruelty free since it is a sister brand of essence cosmetics they all like fall under one big cosnova brand if i'm correct I really like this one. The brush, again, is really nice to work with, especially if you don't have super, like, white nails, just one stroke, and you're good to go. And, of course, it also prevents chipping and tip wear really nicely if you cap in the edges. Then another one by Essie, and this one is actually one I just recently discovered as well. I don't really have a lot or have tried a lot of Essie bases and top coats, but this one is one that I tend to reach for more and more lately, especially if I'm wearing or using Essie colored nail polishes. I always think it's quite nice to finish it off with the similar brand as a top coat as well. It's not a super like crazy good top coat but it's decent then i also have two matte top coats that i really like first one is one by essence this one is like two euros or something like that it's called matte to meet you i'm not quite sure if this one is still available since um i've had this one for so long i really don't know if it is still out in stores but I have had some issues with this one, with some nails not really becoming fully matte and stuff. That's also why I started to just apply a regular top coat first and then apply this one. And then it works really nicely. Which is also a trick that I've been doing with this matte top coat by Holotaco. Which is one I totally adore. It is the best matte top coat that I can recommend to anyone, to be honest. It is a little bit on the like mid section towards a higher price range for like 12 dollars or something i'm not quite sure but it is so good it gives a flawless beautiful like semi i don't even know it gives such a beautiful matte finish almost like satiny i love it so much but yeah that were all of my favorite bases and top coats and matte top coats that i've been using lately let me know which one is your favorite or which one you're using but thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video as well mm -hmm.